Welcome back everyone. So another iPhone 12 leak came out right after the iPhone 12 leak that we found out a couple days ago. And this time, instead of looking at the back of the iPhone 12, now we actually get to see the front of the iPhone 12. And this actually came out in the same tweet where we saw that the home widgets were pretty much confirmed in the iOS 14 code. So if you guys aren't familiar, some iOS 14 code, some people got their hands on it and there's a bunch of images, a bunch of different things within this code that showcase what the future of Apple is going to look like. We saw, actually, I think we saw a bunch of leaks of the iPad Pros as well, but I don't remember. But we see a bunch of new things with iOS 14, as well as the hardware of iPhone 12. Now, we already kind of know that the back of the iPhone 12 is going to be having four cameras, potentially three cameras and a LiDAR sensor, so really three cameras, but the additional LiDAR sensor, which will kind of even things out on the back. But now the front of the iPhone 12 looks to be that the notch will actually get smaller this year, which is really cool. I like that. But when you look at the competition, I mean, I mean, you see phones like the S20, the OnePlus 7T Pro, all these other phones, they have pretty much no notch on them or very little notch at all or a camera hole or whatever. So even a smaller notch, I mean, I think that's cool and stuff. But like if you look even back to like the OnePlus 6 or the OnePlus 6T that came out like in 2018 or something, like those phones have very little notch. It's like the same exact design almost. But with the iPhone 12, you can see that the notch looks to be about like half the size in these photos. But the weird thing is the bezels look a little bit thicker all around the display. So I don't know if this is going to be the cheaper model or the more expensive model, but because it has the four camera sensors at the back, I'm assuming it's going to probably be the more expensive, the Pro model. So that's going to be really, really cool. Again, we're supposed to be seeing these phones coming out probably like within, you know, September, but again, the date might be delayed because of the whole entire situation we're in. But I want to ask you guys the question, if this notch becomes smaller, would you guys be okay with it? Or would you guys want them to just remove the notch entirely? Because if you think about it, like I said, a lot of the competition, you know, they don't necessarily have notches and they're making some huge strides in their hardware. If you look at, you know, the front of the iPhone 10 to the front of the iPhone 11 Pro, not much has changed. But if you look at the front of the Galaxy S8 and the front of the, you know, the Galaxy S20, a lot of things have changed within those specific designs. So again, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not trying to compare Android to iOS or whatever, but I'm just saying like, I would have expected Apple to do more at this point. I think it's really cool that they're doing it, but I would expect them to do a little bit more at the end of the day. I don't know, but that's really pretty much it. I made a couple renders here and there, so you guys can check them out if you want to. But if you guys have any questions or if you're excited about this leak, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I really appreciate you guys to check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.